Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for a long overdue Shop My Stash tutorial. This is a special one because it's also my entry into the It Cosmetics It Girl contest. So I'm bringing back the Naturally Pretty palette, one of my favorite matte palettes to create this subtly smoky eye look. Let's get started. First, I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and sweeping the shade Sunrise through my crease to add some depth. And when I first started creating this look, I didn't have anything specific in mind. Part of what makes me feel beautiful when I get ready is the confidence I get when a look that I've put some fun and creativity into comes together. So whether it's full on glam or a barely there look, I feel like my most beautiful me because I walk out the door feeling confident. Next, I'm taking the shade Sunset on a shorter flat brush and working that just into the outer portion of my crease and then blending that out to give my crease a little bit of extra dimension. I'm also taking that same shadow along my lower lash line to make it look more defined. Next, I used a larger flat shader brush to go into the shade All Heart. I decided I wanted to make the green in my eyes pop for this look, so I reached for a complimentary kind of mauve purple shade to make it happen, and I just applied it all over my lid. I knew I wanted to add some more drama to my outer corners, so to keep the look daytime smoky, I used the same brush as before to apply the transforming pearl shade to my inner corner so everything stayed a little bit brighter. Then I took a smaller fluffy dome brush and went into the deep plum shade called Iconic and worked that in circular motions into my outer corner before I then started taking it further into my crease. Last for the shadow, I wanted to add just a tiny bit more definition, so I took the matte black shade called Noir and an angled liner brush and started by kind of stamping it just beyond my upper lash line to lift and extend the appearance of my eyes. Then I went in and smudged it so that it blended more to the rest of the shadows on my lid. To smoke out the rest of my lash line, I used a black brown liner. This stuff is super potent, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm applying the tiniest bit of that straight along my upper lash line at first, then using that same angled liner brush as before to smudge it out. I also ran the same liner that I used before along my lower water line. Smoky eyes are nothing without some serious lashes, so I went in with Hello Lashes extensions and applied a couple coats of that to both my top and bottom lashes. And I find that a mascara with this sort of ball tip wand is especially good for applying product to the outer lashes so that they keep and hold curl throughout the day. Moving on to foundation, I'm reaching for a CC cream and applying that all over, then going in with a concealer or a CC plus eye cream and applying that not only to my under eye area, but then using any excess product I have to conceal any redness around my nose and any blemishes I have around the rest of my face. Then to set that concealer, I am using a finishing powder and I'm actually using the sponge that comes with the powder to press that into my skin to really ensure it sets and stays all day. Moving on to brows, I wanted to keep them relatively soft against the somewhat smoky eye, so I used a pencil with a narrow edge to help me create hair-like strokes so I could fill them in and define them without getting too dramatic. I finished up my face with the Vitality Face Disc, which is a bronzer, blush, and highlighter in one. I started with the bronzer and used a small, fluffy face brush to apply that to the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline, my temples, and into my hairline to get that all-over bronzed goddess kind of effect. Then I switched to a fluffier face brush because this blush is pretty pigmented and so I really wanted something that could diffuse the product and the pigmentation. And I applied that blush starting at my apples and sweeping it back along the rest of my cheekbones. And last up is the highlight and if I'm being honest, my favorite product in this trio. I'm using that same brush to swipe that along the tippy tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Last up are the lips, and I wanted something that wouldn't overpower the smoky eye, so I reached for a balmy tint. This is Vitality Lip Flush in Je ne sais quoi, and the color actually adjusts to your skin once you apply it. It turned a little brighter than I wanted for an eye this smoky, so I muted it with a CC Plus Lip Serum in Snow Bunny, which is also a great product for making your lips appear more full if you just dab a little bit in the center to create a highlighted effect. So that's everything you need to create this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you got some ideas for the next time you get a chance to play and get creative with your makeup. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.